Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my light mapping tutorial. Now I know I have two other tutorials, one that shows you how to create a shadow map which only renders out the actual shadow texture. Um, that one I actually had named originally light map but this is the actual light mapping tutorial and the other one that shows you how to create the ambient occlusion map. Both of those are quite useful if you're going to speed up a render or if you already have a light source and you don't want to bake in the additional light data into your uh, texture. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we are going to want to add a plane. I'm going to scale it up 10. Go to edit mode. I'm going to select these back two UVs and scale them up five. And then I'm just going to create some kind of random odd thing out of this. So I'll create shadows. Okay. And then I'm going to shift right click to select our plane and control J to join them both. And I'm going to hit A once to deselect the already selected vertices and hit A. And then I'm going to light map pack. Sorry, first I'm going to smart UV project and hit OK. This will be our uh, our UV that we're going to use for like our diffuse or our normal. Um, also in this tutorial I'm also going to show you real quickly how to create a second UV channel. So go over here to object data, you see UV texture and you have UV text. This is our first texture channel. I'm going to name this one to diffuse and I'm going to click the little plus and I'm going to name that one light map and this one we're going to do light map pack and the image size will be 1024 and leave everything, oops, I leave everything at default and then we're going to hit OK. All right. So let's go into our UV image editor. And depending on which, right here, you can change which uh, UV texture you're on. Alternatively, you can just click over here. All right. So first thing we're going to do is for our diffuse, we're just going to use the already placed texture, our image, and we're going to go to the CG textures folder and we're just going to grab um, anything we'll do. We'll just grab concrete bare and we will map it to our UV. Now right here where you see layer, we can select and we're going to map it to our diffuse and we're going to use uh, 2.5, 2.5 and we're going to set our viewport shading over to textured. All right, yeah, so that came out pretty good. All right. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go make sure our active UV textures light map. We're going to want to click new, call this light map and leave it at default and hit OK. All right. Now we're going to create a second texture in our material. We're going to call it light map. It's going to be an image and it's going to be the light map image and this turned everything black. Our coordinates are to our UV and we're going to put it on the light map channel. Um, this is really useful if you're going to, you know, do this externally um, with another program like say Unigen or Unity if you don't want to use the built-in Unity's light mapper, or if you want to bake in GI but you don't have uh, Pro, you can use Blender, bake in, bake it in, and then apply it real quickly. Okay, and for our influence, we're going to set it to overlay. All right, now I'm going to uncheck our diffuse and our light map. I'm going to go over to the render panel, and where you see bake, we just do a full render and we'll just bake and we're going to enable ambient occlusion and we're just going to leave samples at five and then we're going to do a quick bake make sure your light map texture over here is selected and you can see it processing over here and it shouldn't take too long all right now we're going to quickly jump over and add our diffuse back. Then add our light map. 
and we're gonna uh, I accidentally checked RGB to intensity. Sorry about that. Now as you can see, we have our ambient occlusion baked in, but it was turned up kind of high, so you can't really see the shadows too well. But that's okay. Um, you can go through and tweak this. Now, how do we save our light map? Image, save as image, desktop, lightmap.png, save as image. All right, so there we go. Now our light map is added externally. And we could now export this out. Note, you can't use OBJ because OBJ does not support two UV channel. So, uh, if the image only, if the engine only supports OBJ, obviously this won't work. You'll have to find another method. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial. If you have any questions, please join the forums and post there. Um, I don't really answer questions uh, in the YouTube comments because they eventually end up getting buried. Well, at least I don't answer questions on my tutorials. Uh, if you have any actual questions, please join the forums. Or if you don't want to sign up uh, and you have IRC, uh, stop by the IRC. Uh, description, or sorry, information for joining the forums and IRC are located in the description. As well, you can follow me on Twitter, also located in the description. And I'm pretty much in the IRC almost 24-7, so feel free to hop on whenever you'd like. Um, before we go, uh, I'm actually going to do a real quick, I'm going to show you what I mean by when I say it packs in the color data. All right, so now when we bake this, I'm sorry I'm not ending the tutorial yet. You'll just have to put up with my lovely voice for a little while longer. All right, and I am going to bake this real quick. I'll pause it and then bake it real quick. All right, so I accidentally uh, forgot to uncheck the diffuse. So this right here is a good reason why you do not keep the diffuse checked. Okay, I'm going to uh, try that again. And I'm just going to leave it on this time. And you can see... All right, so you can see over here that our color for our blue light has been baked into our texture and we can now re-enable our textures again and as you can see it looks kind of nice now. All right so now this is actually the end of the tutorial. I'm very sorry but uh, I figured I should show that right before we go. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Once more if you have any questions please join the forums. Thank you.